Okay, it's the first trial with uh, the rolling crop shields on the Schmotzer cultivator. So the carrots that we're trying to cultivate are currently pretty small. There's a cluster of them. And they're going to go down the middle of this path. And the area that's not protected by rolling crop shields is going to be cultivated by goose feet. And you can see it was beets up to this point, and there's uh, definitely not a very fantastic uh, density in the beets, but the cultivation tool is working pretty well. Uh, it's keeping a narrow, untilled strip, and without the rolling crop shields, the schmatz are really can't handle crop this small, but with the rolling crop shields, it's going okay. Let's just hold this down here, and oh gosh, yeah, I can just about see these carrots. I swear I can see them. So, the goose feet knives are disturbing everything except the zone that's protected by the rolling crop shields. And the carrots are passing through pretty much unscathed. Pretty cool. This is a, a, a relatively high clearance tool that can handle a lot of trash and can go into pretty advanced weeds, but to be able to start cultivating at this stage where normally I would switch to the basket weeder, this is uh, pretty promising. Compares favorably with the uh, cult duo units that have nowhere near the same uh, capacity for uh, later crop advancement and the, the rolling crop shields can lift up and be pinned out of the way in a storage position. So there's, I think, no way I'll be able to do that one-handed while shooting, but I'm hoping that I can just leave them on the toolbar and uh, use them when I want to and lift them up out of the way when I don't. And then if we can figure out a way to put the Tillmore fingers on the back and have them when we want them and remove them or lift them up when we don't, this is starting to look like a pretty uh, broad application toolbar. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.